period. Not even. I am out of the house, you guys. I am out. I'm wearing clothes. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Real ones with zippers and everything. Wow. I'm wearing a bra. Get out of here. A real one with hooks and wires and $12,000 worth of steel and concrete. You know the one. I am a, I am, I'm a high risk person. Um, which sounds like I'm a member of the cast of Jackass, but that is not <laughs> so the case. I am, I'm a cancer survivor. Uh, yep. Still doing it, thank you. I am, I am a few lymph nodes short of a lymph node salad. Um, so I have, I have been vacationing in the great indoors for the last two years, seeing a lot of the interior of my apartment. And I gotta say, I'm one of those lunatics who's been thriving in quarantine. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, when this first started, I thought that I manifested this whole thing with my mind, you know? <laughs> like, when COVID first dropped, <laughs> I was like, I, d I did this. You know, we had a government mandate to stay home and avoid other people at all costs. <laughs> I blew too hard on those birthday candles, you guys. <laughs> And now here we are two years later, and it's like when your parents caught you smoking and made you smoke the whole pack. <laughs> That's where we're at now. I have smoked the entire Netflix catalog. <laughs> Very excited. I am, yeah, I'm, I'm high risk. I'm out of the house. Fuck it, you know? <laughs> Life is short. I'm trying not to get COVID, which is why I'm breathing into a microphone in front of a sold out crowd. <laughs> Life is short, man. But I figure, like, the Queen of England got COVID, and she lived. And she's, like, 4,000 years old, man. So, like, how bad could it be, right? Like, I can't believe that she's still alive, you know? Like, seriously, like, what's going on over there? She's always got one of those corgi dogs with her. Like, how many of those have, like, gone through throughout the years, you know? I mean, you know that's the same dog, right? Like, you don't have that much money and power to ever have to deal with the death of a pet, you know? Like, she picked that one out in 1950. They've just been cloning it over and over again ever since. I bet that's what happened to Prince Philip, you know? I would explain a lot, man. She's been drinking his blood, right? And then, like, every time he runs out of blood, they just clone a new one. And they do it during her Christmas address. So she's got a rock-solid alibi. It doesn't have to get her little gloved hands dirty. The media will tell you that Prince Philip was 99 when he died. Bullshit, that clone was 11 years old. She is getting more and more ravenous by the day. Did you know that Queen Elizabeth was an adult during World War II? That is true. She was 19 years old during World War II. That means that she remembers being bombed by the Nazis like I remember the iPod mini. Yeah. <laughs> that is insane, man. Like, why the hell do they still have a monarchy over there? You know what I mean? It is 2022, for Christ's sake. You got a king and a queen? Why not an under the sea theme too, you know? <laughs> Those people gotta start pulling their weight, man. They need to evict those leeches and turn Buckingham Palace into a McMenamins. <laughs> I am originally from Alaska. Yep, I, I moved to Portland a few years ago. It's, uh, it's kind of weird being in America now. <laughs> Big change. I, I do miss Alaska sometimes. Because say what you will, living in Alaska is exciting as shit, man. You never know what you're gonna get. I once had a bear come to my front door when I lived in Alaska. I did, I heard the doorbell ringing one day. Like, like ringing off the hook, you know, like bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing, 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 bing. And I thought, okay, some Girl Scout troops about to meet their out-of-pocket maximum. <laughs> so I go to the front door to kill him. <laughs> I look out the window, it's a goddamn bear ringing the doorbell with a snout. Like, what do you do at that point, you know? This is his house now. Possession and being a bear is nine-tenths of the law. That's how crazy it is up there. You don't even have to go out into the woods to die in the wilderness. They are coming to you. Coming to the front door. Goddamn, Amazon Prime. <laughs> I am, I'm Jewish. Uh, I'm half Jewish, technically. I haven't set foot in a synagogue for 20 years. I'm Jewish. <laughs> 
I am not a good Jew. Uh, last year, I ate a bacon cheeseburger on Yom Kippur. <laughs> that is big no-no for those who aren't familiar. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, growing up as a Jewish kid in Alaska is a hell of a thing, man. There are not a lot of polar Jews. <laughs> we are endangered. And where I lived, there was one synagogue, and it was run by this, like, Orthodox Jewish family who were, you know, sent to Alaska, like, missionaries, to set up, like, a, a northern Jewish outpost. And they ran the synagogue out of their house. You know, just, like, out of the basement, like a tech startup. And I went there as a kid, and I didn't know anything about anything, you know, so I was all excited to learn about all the traditions and the holidays and everything. So Jewish holidays are... are scheduled from sunset to sunset, right? Like it doesn't follow the regular calendar, changes every year. The problem with that is, in Alaska, <laughs> the sun doesn't set for six months in the summer. <laughs> it's day like 24 hours a day. And like in the winter, you never even see the sun. So as kids, we were like, you know, what are we supposed to fast from September to May? <laughs> <laughs> so the rabbi and his wife, the, the missionaries, what they did was they like sat down and made up sunset times for each day and they printed it on a calendar that they handed out to all the Jewish families in Alaska so you would know when the holidays were. And like each month of the calendar had a little like hot tip on being Jewish in Alaska. <laughs> it's a like Q&A with the rabbis, I think. <laughs> like is moose kosher? <laughs> Nobody's ever gotten close enough to see whether the hooves are cloven and live to tell about it, so who knows, right? <laughs> I, uh, I, gotta, I gotta tell you guys something. Um, I, I need to talk about this. I had an experience. Um, <laughs> I went out to eat for the first time in a very long time. Uh, fancy place, I don't know if you guys can afford it. Taco Bell drive-thru, anybody been there? <laughs> I went to the Taco Bell drive-thru and I ordered a quesarito. For those who have not had the pleasure, a quesarito is a Taco Bell menu item that is a hybrid of a quesadilla and a burrito. And when I ordered the quesarito, the girl working the counter said, I'm sorry, you can only order that item through the app. And when I regained consciousness, <laughs> I mean, I looked out the window, I saw the sign, I checked with her, this is a Taco Bell, correct? She said, yeah, there's just some items now that you can only pre-order through the Taco Bell app. And I said, you understand that you're undermining your whole brand, right? Because Taco Bell is not a, a pre-place. <laughs> If you are prearranging anything to do with Taco Bell, call your therapist. And furthermore, you don't even go to Taco Bell. You stop at Taco Bell. On the way to wherever you're gonna go pass out for the night. This kid should have been amazed that I was sober enough to have this conversation. <laughs> So I thought, okay, we got this. We can figure this out. We are strong, independent women. Okay. Do you have tortillas? Do you have meat, cheese, rice? She says, yeah. I said, do you know how to make a quesarito? She says, yeah. I said, let's check in. Where are we on this? <laughs> she said, no, you don't understand. There's not even a button on the ordering machine to ring up a quesarito. I said, okay, I got it. How about this? What if you press taco, but you make a quesarito. <laughs> no one will ever know. You can pocket the difference. How about that? She said, no, 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 I can't. You don't understand. I did not win this argument, people. I didn't. I just want you to know, in case any of you are going out celebrating, you know, know before you go, the Taco Bell is apparently requiring reservations. <laughs> If you would like to enjoy a quesarito, or apparently several other menu items. And after some deep introspection, I just don't think there's gonna be quesaritos in my future. Because I cannot create an account with Taco Bell. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't have standards in the other areas of my life, I really don't but I cannot set up a registry with a fast food chain. <laughs> 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 
pre-order from the Taco Bell app. How dare you? <laughs> download and, and not just download. Oh, no, no, no. You have to set up. You got to give them your name and your email address and your phone number and your home address and your credit card and tap here to prove you're not a robot. I could buy a gun tonight. <laughs> 